Hello, everybody. Welcome to class 30. Today, we are going to be presenting fall sports. I'll be, I'll be presenting soccer. Soccer, the sport soccer, it starts in the fall for the pro leagues. It starts in the fall and the season like ends in like the spring slash summer. Usually it ends in like May or like it ends in like uh, June. At the start of the season in the fall, there are a few things that happen. There's the UEFA Champions League and the Europa League. Mainly that happens in the fall. It's just like the start of the group stages for both of the Champions League and the Europa League. Also like the knockout stages, kind of like before you enter like the group stages. Some teams have to go to this knockout phase in order to get into the groups. So that's just domestic cups. Like England, there's like the FA Cup, there's the Carabao Cup. And Spain, there's like the Copa del Rey. And, and, the, and Italy, there's the uh, Copa Italia. Like those domestic cups like starts to happen like the like the lower division teams just just like start to like basic face off against each other and every professional team like there's a they're in a league and like, it's the start of the league so like, the first few like first like 10 games of the leagues happens like in the fall and this is the ufa super cup the super cup is just basically the winner from the previous year's champions league against the previous year winners of the europa league so but um soccer is a uh, all all season sports. Um, I'm going to be presenting lacrosse. Uh, lacrosse is a team sport and it's usually played outdoors during the summer uh, slash the fall season. Um, there's an indoor version of the sport called box lacrosse and it is popular in Canada and there are six players per team instead of 10 and it's like a quicker version of field lacrosse. The goal of the game is to get the ball into the net or the goal and the team with the most most points will win. Um, lacrosse comes from a game that was played by the Native Americans and it consisted of up to 100 players. And usually it was uh, different villages or tribes going against each other's and the goals could be uh, miles apart and the games could last for days. Uh, lacrosse mainly became popular in the 19,000s um, for, for universities and high schools. And in 2001, Major League Lacrosse um, had its first season, and currently there are 10 teams in the, um, in the league. Uh, so how is lacrosse played? Uh, lacrosse is played with the rubber ball and a long stick with the neck at, net at the, at the end to catch the ball, and it's known as a lacrosse stick. Players will wear protective gear, such as helmets, mouth guards, lacrosse gloves, and pads, and the uh, goalies will wear uh, even more protection. And then there are different players on the field, uh, including offense players, defense players, midfielders, and the goalie. The offense players are the ones that are trying to score the goals, and they usually use a short lacrosse stick. The defense players are the ones defending the goals, usually using a longer lacrosse stick. The goalie is the one uh, guarding the goal, and they use a lacrosse stick with a wider net. And then the midfielders play both offense and defense, so they're like usually running around the field. And um, so lacrosse is now a really well-known game and it's popular among kids, teens, and adults. Uh, I'm Josh and I'll be presenting ice hockey to you. And the origins of ice hockey are not confirmed, but most likely started by Canadians with homemade sticks and they were skating on a frozen pond sometime in the 1800s. And as the sport became more and more popular for viewers and players, Real events started happening, and as a result, the NHL, which was the National Hockey League, was founded, and it was founded on November 22, 1917. Some of the popular teams in the NHL are the San Jose Sharks, the Edmonton Oilers, and the Pittsburgh Penguins. And how the game usually goes is that there's two teams, and each with six players, and they try and shoot a puck into a goal with specially made sticks. And each time they score a goal, it's one point, and the team with the most points wins. This sport can either be played on ice or on land, which would be called field hockey. And at the bottom, there's four pictures. The first one would be of a puck and a stick. And then the other three pictures are the base, are the um, popular teams, respectively. I'm Aiden, and I'll be presenting tennis. Tennis was invented in 1873. There are two types of matches, singles, which is 1v1, and doubles, which is 2v2. Uh, the counting points begin with love, then 15, then 30, then 40. You may have to win one more point to win the game. A set is consisted of six games. When two sets are tied with the same amount of points, the term always used to describe the score. 
For example, 30 all means both sides have 30 points. Uh, when both sides are tied with 40 points, it is called a deuce. One side have to score two points in a row to win the game. The right side of the court is called deuce and the left side is called add. Before tennis rackets were invented, people played tennis by hitting the ball with the palm of their hands. I'll be presenting golf, and golf is an individual sport, and it was invented and first played in Scotland in the 15th century and spread throughout the world. It is often played competitively, but it can also be played for relaxation and just to enjoy the outdoors. The playing area for golf is called a golf course and usually is made up of a number of golf holes and the number is usually 18. On each hole, the golfer first hits the ball from a tee area or the starting point towards the hole. The hole is on a smooth area of short grass called the green. Once the golf ball is on the green, the golfer will use a putter to roll or put the ball into the hole. The number of strokes are counted up for the hole and recorded on the scorecard. At the end of the course, all the strokes are totaled and the golfer with the fewest number of strokes wins. I'll be presenting swimming and swimming is a widely placed word that originated back to 2500 um, before a century. It was, it was required a subject to learn with the, with the alphabet in Greece and Roman was required, is required to join the marshals. Next please, please. Swimming can consist of individual competing or teams competing with the individual competing more common than the others. I'll predict it fine out. Researchers often use freestyle because it's found to be the fastest stroke of swimming. Swimmers in the Olympics will use front wall and will push the wall after you finish the limb to be kind of finished in the race. I'll be presenting volleyball. Basically, the objective is to hit the volleyball over the net by only using your hands, and the opposing team has to hit the back the ball back until a team fails to get it over. There are six positions on a volleyball court, setter, outside hitter, opposite hitter, middle blocker, libero, and defensive specialist. Volleyball began in a town called Holyoke, Massachusetts in 1985, and it was developed at the YMCA. It was originally called Mintonetti, because of its similarity with badminton, since both objectives of the game was to volley the ball back and forth over a net. Uh, hi, I'm Raymond. I'm going to be talking about basketball. So first, I'll discuss how to play. There are two opposing teams that try to score more points than the other team. And to gain points, you have to shoot the basketball into the next into the net. Next slide. So here's a brief history of basketball. Basketball was invented in 1891 by James Naismith. The game quickly became very popular. And in 1946, the NBA was established. Each year, 30 teams scattered around the United States with players from around the world compete for the NBA championship. Last season, the Los Angeles Lakers won. We'll be presenting about American football. American football is played with two teams of 11 players. The offensive team gets four downs or chances to move the ball forward 10 yards by either running with the ball or catching the ball to earn another first down and have another four chances to advance 10 yards again. Their main goal is to move the ball into the opponent's end zone for a touchdown to earn six points. The defense can stop the offense by tackling the person carrying the ball, which happens when the defender brings any part of their body to the ground other than their feet or hands. American football was inspired by soccer and rugby. The NFL, or the National Football League, was first formed in 1920 with only 14 teams compared to the 32 teams in the league today. The Super Bowl is a championship game that has taken place every year since 1967. The most recent champions are the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from Florida, who won Super Bowl 55.
I'll be presenting badminton. So it was invented in the mid 1800s in British India, and it originated from a game called Battle Door and Shuttlecock. And it was named after the Duke of Beaufort's badminton house. It can be played either one on one, which is known as singles, and doubles, which is two on two. And it is played with a racket and a shuttlecock on a rectangular court, which is divided by a net. And one point is scored when the shuttlecock hits the opposing team's half of the court. So, for example, if Team A is playing Team B, Team A hits the shuttlecock to the other side of the court, and Team B does not is not able to uh, hit it back, and it hits their side of the court, then Team A is given the point. And one point is given to the opposing team if the shuttlecock is hit out of bounds. So that means if Team A hits the Team A hits the shuttlecock out of the court, then Team B will be give, given a point. And the first team to reach 21 points wins. And if there's a tie of 20 points to 20 points, then the first to gain a two point lead will win the game. I accidentally did the same topic. Okay, lacrosse. Lacrosse is a team sport where players try to get a rubber ball into a net or goal. Players use a long stick with a neck with a net on the end and it's called a lacrosse stick. They can run, carry, catch, shoot, and pass the ball with the net of the stick. The objective of lacrosse is to score the most points. Points are scored when a player kicks, nudge, bats with the stick, or throws with their sticks the very hard tennis-sized rubber ball into the opponent's net. Players cannot use their hands to throw the ball into the net. Games are divided into four timed quarters. origin of lacrosse. Lacrosse was started by the Native American Indians and was originally known as the stick ball. The game was played by the Algonquin tribe and they were followed by other tribes in the eastern half of North America and around the western Great Lakes. Uh, uh, I'll be presenting fencing. So for the rules, each player must bow at the beginning and at the end of the round. If they refuse to, they lose a point. Usually there are only two people playing in one match. To score a point, you'll have to hit the opponent with the weapon. Usually the three weapons, saber, foil, and EP. Not letting the enemy hit your target by covering your target leads to a penalty. Uh, if two people hit their own targets together, whoever hits first gets a point. The main goal is to hit the opponent with your sword as a next slide, please. Many times as possible. And as the time goes up, whoever has the most points win. The origin. F fencing was believed to be or originated from Spain. Many of the fencing books are made from Spanish fencers. Rules of fencing was made back in 18th century from the Italian fencing school during the Renaissance. Re creating parrying methods such as hitting the upper part of the opponent's blade foible with the bottom part of the blade. Forte. I'll be presenting water polo. So the basic rules, um, it will be played in a pool and there will be two goals on each side, which looks kind of like a soccer goal, except it's floating on water. And um, there will be 14 players playing in total. Uh, each team, it will be six field players and one goalie. A player must only touch a ball with a single hand. So you pass the ball, you shoot with like just one hand. And a player must also be floating on water for all time. So like no touching the bottom of the pool or no hanging onto the wall. A game lasts usually about 40, to, uh, 40 minutes to an hour, which is divided into four quarters. A player can go underwater, but they cannot bring the ball with them. If the ball goes underwater, it's a turnover, which basically means that the other side gets the ball. So the history of water polo. It was originally developed by William Wilson in the mid 19th century. And when it was first developed, it's like American football, but it's like underwater. Um, in 1817, uh, a rubber ball replaced the original one, which in fact is made of a stomach of a pig. It sounds kind of disgusting. Uh, first water polo game played in the U.S. was in uh, 1888 
the sport became popular in 1900s, so popular that it became an Olympic sports and has remained so ever since. Uh, motorsports. Hello, my name is Jason. I'm going to be presenting the motorsports. So, what are motorsports? Motorsports are usually sports of which involve the use of motorized vehicles, and these sports can uh, either be for racing or non-racing competitions or sport or um, different types of uh, uh, matches. The terminology can also be used to describe forms of competition of two-wheeled motorized vehicles, such as motorcycles. And this also includes off-road uh, off racing and uh, with sports such as motocross. Next slide. So the history of motorsports. So ever since the invention of, motors, uh, of motorized vehicles, there has probably always been unofficial uh, motorsports, uh, motorsport competitions between people. The average street race between two people with a motorized vehicle has probably occurred ever since the dawn of the creation of these motorized vehicles. However, the first actual documented city to city race of which occurred was in France of 1894. It ran from Paris to Rubin and back. This is, as I've already mentioned, this is the first motorized um, uh, race of which went from city to city. And it also established the quote unquote track system where you go a long distance and, and so on and so forth. Eventually, as, motors, uh, as motorized vehicles got more and more popular and the public started getting more and more uh, motorized vehicles, public racing and street racing as it's now called is, uh, was becoming more and more popular. So to solve this problem, um, many countries actually banned the, banned the uh, use of uh, street racing. And so from this ban, circuit racing was then born. So as you can see nowadays, whenever you're on a track, you're usually going through a circuit or you're going um, basically in circles if you're counting the Fortune 500. But Basically, in these sort of races, you're going from one side and going through an entire track and coming back at the same position. That's where circuit racing really came up. That's because after uh, the use of public streets, at least, yeah, public streets that weren't officially closed down, um, basically nobody could race on public streets unless if there's like an official decree that, oh, you can race here, blah, 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 such and so. so the, so from these uh, bands, as I've already mentioned, circuit style of racing was then established. And as you can see, many races uh, take these, uh, this type of circuit style racing. If I were to give an example, you can maybe take a look at a popular game called Mario Kart, in which almost every single track is a circuit. And that if you've seen the racetracks, then that is a circuit of you going through different areas and coming, starting and finishing at the same area. Next slide. So I understand that this is a long list of motorsports. That's because there's a lot of motorsports. I'm gonna first go through probably some of the main ones and I'm gonna go into some of the miscellaneous ones of which you can't which not many people know about. So the main racing motorsports that mainly a lot of people know are like formula racing. So like Formula One and Formula E, these sort of racing competitions are probably one of the more famous types along with IndyCar racing, stock car racing, off-road racing, and also tour car racing. All of these uh, sort of racing styles are all the, um, all include either circuits or all include circuits and usually uh, involves like, or it involves like a track basically. These sort of um, racing sort of styles are usually involving those sort of things. Now we're going to be moving on. These next ones are probably going to be um, these forms of non-racing competitions. These include drifting. So drifting competitions, uh, though they do use uh, vehicles, 
They do not, however, I repeat, they do not, however, include a race. This usually means like when you're drifting, you're seeing how far you can really drift in these sorts. Demolition Derby, if you guys have watched, um, if I were to give an example, maybe Monster Truck Demolition Derby, if anybody remembers those. Monster Truck Demolition Derby, these sorts of uh, competitions do include the use of motorized vehicles. However, they aren't a race. They're more of a like a uh, show or a competition, more or less. Uh, the regularity rally, these are rallies of which may occur and different sort of like, um, different sort of things of which people do. And so regularity rally is also a thing. Motorcycle trials, this is another thing. This is usually, sometimes this includes motorcycle, uh, motorcycles um, just racing together and just going up and down and everywhere that they go. There's also so many more of which I can, I'm not going to go into too deep of detail because it would take so long. There are motors, there are Jim Kana, I can't say that, I'm sorry. Freestyle motocross, tractor pulling. And so these are like the main forms of non-racing, the more popular ones. However, now we're gonna go into miscellaneous rating, racings. I call these miscellaneous racings, that's because they're not really, though they might be well known, they're not really in the car section, at least not all of them. Some of them are just not well known. The other ones are just not in the car section. So for example, air racing is not in the car section, but you can obviously tell what air racing is. It's racing with planes. Auto racing, so this is uh, car racing, but with autos. Uh, motocross, motor rallying, rally cross, motorcycle racing, cart racing, banker racing, motorboat racing, drone racing, hovercraft racing, lawnmower racing, that is the thing. <laughs> Radio controlled model racing. So this is RC car racing, slot car racing, snowmobile racing, and also truck racing. All of these racings are um, usually, are you actually might have decently have heard of these. However, they aren't as popular and they usually aren't shown on major television as much as the other ones of which I have highlighted earlier. Motocross, as I've already mentioned, motorsports racing is an extremely vast um, area, comprises of extremely vast area of racing and sports. And these are only just some of the motorsports of which uh, are out there. You can go ahead and just go find hundreds of other sports of which you can possibly take place in. But these are some of the main ones of which you might see. Thank you. My name is Gavin and I'll be presenting cycling. Uh, bicycles were invented during the 1817 in Germany. The world's fastest cyclist is called the Nice Müller Koronek, who cycled up to 184 miles per hour. The world's longest bicycle can hold 35 people and is over 20 meters long. There are two times more bicycles than cars on Earth, and you can fit 15 bicycles in one parking spot. The United Kingdom has over 20 million bicycles and creating a car is equal to creating up to 100 bicycles. Judo originated in Japan in 1882. Uh, it was founded by Kano Jigoro um, Shihan, and it was an educational method derived from martial arts. Uh, it was a combination of mental discipline with jujitsu and wrestling, and it later became an uh, Olympic sport. Uh, the rules are that um, by throwing someone, which is basically like flipping them on the ground, um, holding them on the ground for 20 seconds or choking them until they tap out, which is where they tap you. So to let you know that they, um, yeah. Uh, 
all score points for you and um the things that you can't really do are um striking which includes punching kicking and basically anything that involves you know um throwing your fists or anything are not allowed and you're not allowed to intentionally injure others field hockey Field hockey is a widely played team sport of the hockey family. The game can be played on grass, water, turf, artificial turf, or synthetic field, as well as indoor boarded surfaces. Each team plays with 10 field players and a goalkeeper. Players use sticks to hit a round hard plastic hockey ball. The game is played globally. Oops, Hockey is believed to date from the earliest civilizations, and it, it, it began to be played in English schools in the late 19th centuries, and the first men's club hockey club at Blackheath in south, southeastern London recorded a minute book in 1861. The British Army was largely responsible for spreading the game, particularly in India and the Far East. An international competition began in 1895. So I'm going to be presenting gymnastics. Gymnastics is a sport that can be played year round. It is a sport that combines many skills, such as balance, strength, flexibility, agility, and endurance. The most common and well-known competitive gymnastics is called artistic gymnastics. This kind of gymnastics consists of events that gymnasts will compete in. The events for women's gymnastics are floor, uneven bars, vault, and beam. However, for men's gymnastics, the events are floor, vault, rings, pommel horse, parallel bars, and horizontal bar. Cheerleading. What is cheerleading? Cheerleading is an activity in which the participants, also called cheerleaders, cheer for their team as a form of encouragement. It can range from chanting slogans to intense physical activity. It can be performed to motivate sports teams to entertain the audience or even just for a competition. Cheerleading routines typically range from one to three minutes and contains components of tumbling, dance, jumps, chairs, and stunting. Um, 